Hello dear viewers, welcome back. This is Uncle K with you and as I had promised, accepting Fridays every day at this time from 1 to 1.30, we will be reading your portraits, your photos which I have requested that you send to me so that I could photo analyze you. I know it was very late the announcement yesterday afternoon so maybe some people still did not know about it. I have received only three and those people have not even given me a code which I requested. The reason for the code is that I don't want to announce your names in public. I don't want to show your photo in front of the camera to safeguard your privacy. What I would like you to do when you send me your photo with your name to give me a code which you yourself device. A six digit code suppose. Suppose your name is Ahmad Sahil. So what you do is you get, take the first initial letters of your name like Ahmad A, Sahil S, A S and add your date of birth with it. So it will come to A S suppose it is 1984. So your code will be A S 1984. So when I analyze your photo and I read it on air. Your privacy is safe. Only you will know that it is your photo I am analyzing. Same way I am giving you an example of uh, Zahra Amin. So that would come to ZA1994. And if you don't want even to mention your date of birth, add any number, put any number, any digit. Two initials of your family name, your first name and any four digit number which you only you know so that when I read it for example SH2014 you will know that I am referring to you. As long as we take care of this I am not worried about anybody getting upset that I use their name on air. So let's get to the three people who have sent me their photo. The first one I did analyze and I'm sorry to say that the photo was not appropriate for what I need. I had mentioned there it should be a current photo. That photo was not current. It was maybe about two, three years old. Now you will say how can I make out whether the photo was old whether it was the proper photo. I can make out from the way that photo looks. You know photography, whether it's electronic, whether it is digital, whether it is a, a film based uh, thing, a gelatin film the like Kodak and the old time films, negative and positive. They have a way of aging so you can make out how old the photo is. In the old time they used to call it sepia. It used to be start becoming yellowish. The more yellow the photo is the more old it is. So please it's in your own benefit to give me the latest the current photo. Although I can read the old photos but that will be from those times when you had taken that photo. It will be I'm as if I'm reading your past. Things may have changed. I need the latest readings so that from that I can predict your future. Another thing in this because this is my first transmission on this subject. I would like to take a little time and explain how I do this. As I said in my yesterday's video I'm not a pundit. I am not a forecaster, I am not a mutawa, I have no special gift for reading, for forecasting the future. No, I don't have that. I have a gift where I read your face. I have a gift of body language. From your face, I can, because your face 
is etched with all the history the traumas the happiness the things which you have gone through life so the current phase will give me where you are at which stage which stage and from where you can go which will benefit you now isn't it a good thing that i will give you your future according to your experience and your past what you are good at what you can be better at and what you should not be doing so send me your photos i will start with no never mind that this photo was old but i will go with as i have sorry i mentioned these three names because at this time there was no code so i will go with as 1984 your face your demeanor your thought at the time this photo was taken was confusion the main thing which comes out of your photo is confusion why would somebody be confused when his photo or her photo is being taken it's not because of the camera because you are camera shy a camera shy person does not get confused when it their photo is being taken it is because of the surroundings because of the event at that time that moment of time because it's the capturing of the moment of that time of your life and a photo is snapped it's a millisecond shutter snap aperture snap that captures the light reflecting from you at that particular time it holds your image for that period you are still and you will remain still in that photograph for that period so your photo shows confusion your age if i can gather is uh, i have just formulated this uh, birth date 1984 just to give you an example i don't know your age but from the photo i can gather that you may be around 35 years of age and 35 years of age i will and i said i will not mention your gender also on the tv 35 years of age with your features on that face you should be quite experienced you should be able to handle any given event any situation but with that confusion which was the, the most i mean noticeable thing on your photo why are you confused are you confused about your surrounding as i said are you confused about your life are you confused about your relatives are you confused about your future about your future i can understand that it should many people are confused and it's not a bad thing it's to remove that confusion that you go on your past and learn from your past and know how to tackle the future so i'll leave it for the time being till you send me a current photo with your code okay now i'll go to the second photo which was sa1994 again sa is the initials i have used from your name 1994 is just an example number i have put there it may not it is of course it is not your birthday so let's go here this photo is very clear it does now i'll point another thing it does not matter if your photo is black and white or color or what background it has it's a passport photo or whatever i just need your face to be clear it should be focused on your face do not think of anything special while if you are for posing for this photo especially for this tv program do not think of anything special just leave yourself blank like a blank slate and let me write your history on it so za 1994 i commend you on your thoughtful uh 
way you have brought your life to that stage you are a very loving person you are uh, can be a good friend i'm not saying can be i mean you are a good friend to those who are your friends you are not easy to make friends with you are very selective you do not just go and shake hand with each and every person of course you are polite you are very social but friendship you are very choosy about that's a good thing so that you do not get tripped you do not get cheated you do not get hurt very wise i'm i commend you on that and once you make friends you go all out to help them whenever they need you now sa 99 za 1994 that was one part about your friendship about your job what you are doing you are fit for it you are in the social services you are in the public domain you either you are in a customer service uh, profession or you are in the either you are in the hospitality or customer service profession or you are a health giver if you are in the healthcare business i think they have the right person working for them so in this short video and tv and radio commendation i can just give you this much hint from tomorrow i will be enhancing more and more on this and don't worry if i get more we pictures then i can handle i will extend the time of the tv because i have to answer most of the questions and another thing i will add on this if you need detailed analysis write to me by email and i will reply to you by email so it will remain private now coming to sh2014 again sh are the actual initials and 2014 have been added up by myself sh you have a problem adjusting with people you may not have been in dubai for a long time you have visited dubai gone back again come back why i am mentioning dubai you could have been in any other country but my channel and my broadcast are mostly watched in dubai or people who are linked with dubai or who have memories of dubai your adjustment with people and different nationalities is causing you a big problem that's not your fault that's the way it is in our eastern countries i am from pakistan you are from india maybe there the propaganda against pakistanis against thailandis against nepalis same way in my country if i had not been to dubai i would not have been so broad minded if you remain in those places we, which we call as the westerners call developing countries we are still developing but you have come to dubai you have been mingling with these different nationalities that was a shock to you in fact in fact don't treat it as a shock treat it as an opportunity learn from it try to make friends with different nationalities everybody is not bad every nationality has bad and good people it's your judgment how you recognize the right people to become friends with you may be working with colleagues who are all of different countries of course you may become lonely you may become homesick because maybe those people are not speaking your language you may have to speak a second language for example english so learn from it that's the way the world is expanding now it's becoming a global village you have to learn english to survive in this new setup with these apps with these uh, sms with these messages with so many different things on the mobile of course you know english because i can see that you have, must have seen my video you must have 
seen my writings there on LinkedIn and all. And you have sent me this photo. I thank you for that. And I think you need a private session. When I say private session, I don't mean that I'm going to ask, charge you or I'm going to make some money out of this. No, you have to wait for my email or better still, since you sent me this portrait, why not send me your problems also and I will answer to them. I think this part is enough for this time since I have only a few of these portraits and from tomorrow I'll be going in detail and if we were delayed a little bit in our transmission I apologize for that. Thank you very much and remain happy, be happy and make others happy. Goodbye.